Now, a question I often get is, Greg, how do I assign user roles uh, to my app, such as in a SaaS app or project management app? You have a project manager, you have a standard user, you know, I'm an admin. So how do we go about this? Now, I was contemplating on whether or not this would actually constitute a full tutorial because it's actually quite simple. It's more conceptual more than anything else. But anyway, let me just show you how I go about this uh, on the data side um, and a few other tidbits that might be useful. Okay, so I have a page here uh, and I have a user called Olivia, Olivia Hopkins. Olivia is basically a project manager, which means that she can see this create project button and she can also edit these particular projects, okay? And she's assigned to these projects as well. Now, if I logged in as someone else, let's log in as Jonathan Peterson. Jonathan is a standard user. Olivia is Jonathan's manager. And here we can see Jonathan's view is slightly different. Okay, he doesn't have a create project button and he's been assigned to this project but can't do much, you know, at the moment. Actually, the view button should still be there. Let's just change that. Um, and then let's go through what I've done. And that view button, yeah, view button should still be there, of course. So what I tend to do for user roles is I actually create an option set. Here we have an option set roles, okay? Admin, manager, standard. So when I sign up to my own app, or create my account in my own app, then I immediately go into the database and I sign myself Greg as the admin here. And that basically allows me to close off access to certain pages and to be able to see and do certain functionality that other people can't do. But if someone signs up, let's say for instance, someone signs up to a SaaS application and then they want to be the manager and invite other people to the application. Well, during that sign-up process, we will assign them the role of a manager. Once they are the role of manager, and this will be automated through a workflow, of course, sign the user up, uh, change role equals manager, and then they can create users and they can assign different roles to the users. Naturally, you'd show this in a dropdown. You'd say, do you want this user to be an admin of the project or a manager of the project or just a standard user, okay? Um, admin here kind of pertains to the admin of the application, but you could have an admin of a project as well. So that's it. So you should have an option set, and then you set the various roles within that. And now we can use these roles to show or hide elements on the page or to give access or remove access to people on page load. So for instance, this button project create, this is not shown on page load, but you can see it if the current user's role is manager, such as when Olivia was logged in. So let's log back in as Olivia. So there you go. So Olivia has all this extra functionality. She also has access to this little edit icon here, this pencil icon, because her current role is manager. Here are the options here for the option set. And this pertains to running workflows as well. Okay, so create a, uh, a new project if the current user's role is manager. So maybe we don't, maybe we show this button for all people and all roles, but you can't actually run the button unless your role is manager. So there's so many ways to create role-based functionality and to show role-based data in your app based on just a very simple option set which determines which role a user has. Another one that I tend to do is on my admin pages. I say that if the page is loaded and the current user's role is not admin, then go to page index. Just send them back to a different page. Okay, and this is done in a split second. The page doesn't actually load it redirect someone before we can visually see anything, before anything is contentful. Okay, so those are just a few ways that roles are useful. And obviously I've gone through the most basic setup for roles, but it is really, really powerful. So have a play, 
and see what you can come up with with role-based functionality. But really setting them is as simple as just selecting uh, an option set option.